Hi everyone. We know your introduction to Bendigo Senior will be a little bit different this year due to all the COVID restrictions, but we're sure you'll enjoy the move to our school. Welcome to all incoming Year 11 students, with a special mention to those coming from Crusoe College. My name's Bradman and I was a student at Crusoe College last year. I remember this time last year, sitting where you're sitting, thinking what are the next couple of days going to bring, let alone what the next couple of years are going to bring. We thought it'd be helpful to provide you with a short presentation to help answer some of those questions you might have about your orientation next year. Hello, my name's Amelia Bailey and I attended Bendigo South East College last year. I'd like to extend a warm welcome to all the students from BSC who are arriving here next year. G'day everyone from Eagle Walk. I'm Jacoby and welcome to Bendigo Senior Secondary College. Hi, I'm Taz and hi to everyone from Aruna College, Bendigo. We thought we would start by talking about different ways you can get to Bendigo Senior Secondary College. If you are a country bus traveller, you'll be dropped off at the Tom Flood Sports Centre. you walk down the road straight here to get to the school. If you come to school with the town buses, you can come through the QEO or from through Rosie Park. Even though I usually take the bus to school, when I do get dropped off, my parents usually prefer to drop me off at Barnard Street because I can use one of the two walkways to get here, instead of being dropped off here where it usually gets quite congested and busy and takes quite a lot of time. Due to COVID this year, students won't be able to come on site for orientation all at the same time. So this means that you might see people from different schools, but you won't be mixing with them. And for Aruna College kids, um, you'll be meeting on the grass area, which is right near the cafe and the Alhambra Theatre, which isn't that hard to locate. If you're wondering where to go when you first arrive at orientation day, Crusoe students will meet here on the brand new basketball courts just behind the gym behind me. From there, you'll then branch off into smaller groups into different rooms. Bendigo South East College students will also be meeting here, but you'll be meeting here on a different day to the others. Eagle Hawk will also be meeting here as well. One of the most exciting things about Bendigo Senior is that you don't have to wear uniform. This means that everyone has an opportunity to express themselves. And although everyone is different, everyone is accepted. So when you wake up on your first day wondering what to wear, don't worry because you'll be accepted. Just make sure that anything you wear isn't offensive to others and you should be fine. Bendigo Senior is a really big school and I was worried about getting lost the first time I came here. There are plenty of people willing to help you, whether it be your fellow students, teachers or even older siblings here at the school. They're all willing to help you to get to you to where you need to go. It was strange not seeing the usual faces, especially the teachers, but you meet more people and build new connections. Unfortunately on orientation day the cafe will be closed, so make sure to bring plenty of food and drink to last you for the rest of the day. Students have the opportunity of staying in Roslyn Park during recess and lunch, although I often found that I stayed up near the school. There were many great spaces to stay in, of course with good air conditioning, and there were also a lot of activities to participate in throughout the year. I know the other question I had was how to read the timetable, and the timetable is on compass, so it's very easy to read, and if you can't find a room, you can just ask anyone around, everyone's really helpful. Bendigo Senior uses compass, which is different to BSE Virtual. It's not very difficult to get used to. Once you get your head around it, you'll find it a very useful resource as it's very simple and well laid out. My advice would be to not be shy to approach people in your new classes because everyone's gonna be in the same boat as you and don't be shy to ask your teacher questions. My advice to students arriving at Bendigo Senior next year would be to take every opportunity that is offered to you. You really can't go wrong and there is an amazing range of opportunities offered here and it is one of the things that will help to integrate you into the school even more. Probably my main three bits of advice would be asking plenty of questions, whether it be to the teachers or older siblings or other students. Ask plenty of questions, whether it be where you need to go, how to complete a bit of work or just, just general sort of questions about the school. My second piece of advice would be immerse yourself in the lunchtime activities. There's always something happening at Bendigo Senior, whether it be music in the plaza, any lunchtime activities or the free food which everyone loves. My third bit of advice would be to use your study blocks effectively or freeze as the students refer to them. There's plenty of places you can go and study quietly. In the library, in the language centre, up the top of the e-block. Try and use those places effectively and get the most out of your work. My advice is no matter how big the school might seem it's actually pretty easy to find your way around. If you have any trouble at all just go to the student service offices or the library and they'll help you find your way.